this is Amy. Welcome today to my channel. Today I am going to do another gloss painting video. I'm going to be using two daubers. Now I will put my items down below that you're welcome to purchase through affiliate links if you want to do so. Uh, these are actually Martha Stewart, but I'll have a different brand because I don't see the Martha Stewart brands anymore listed, so I will have a replacement down there. I'm using a number 16, a Magic Round Brush and Flora Brush by Lo Cornell, it's a number 10. Fine Liner by Westonia. All Folk Art Paints, mixture of multi-surface and enamels, using Lime Green. Fresh Foliage. Magenta. Bumblebee. Vivid Orange and Wicker White. So I wanted to create something that was just very colorful and just kind of fun today. So I'm going to start with my larger of the daubers. I'm going to put it into my magenta, just cover it really well. And so it has a lot of paint. I did do five on my sample paper, but I'm not certain that I'm going to be able to do five on this glass bottle because it is small. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do three because I don't want to overcrowd it. Then I'm going to take the um, flora brush. I'm going to just put it into the vivid orange. I can dip a little bit of it into the wicker white. And I'm going to actually turn it on its side. I'm not going to use it this way. I'm going to turn it on its side to make the petals. I'm just pushing down and pulling towards the center. And I just keep loading my brush as I go. And we know that the more paint we use, the more durable the design will be. And I just keep going around this floral center. I can put these petals close together. I can spread them out as I go or kind of rotate how spread out they are and the lengths. I just like to vary them. I feel like it gives it more interest doing this, but that's up to you. Anytime I create something, if it's not something that resonates with you, then make it your own and create what you feel comfortable with. Okay, so I am going to be overlapping because just like in nature, not everything's all nice and separated. If you're doing a floral arrangement, again, keep in mind the more paint you use, the more durable your design is going to be, meaning it won't chip as easy. Or with a glass bottle, it's not as big of a concern as if you were doing wine glasses or something that people are going to be holding. So that's, again, not as big of a concern. But just keep that in mind. Again, just take your time, put on some fun music, if you like to meditate, maybe some meditation music, your favorite band or whatever, and just sit back, paint, and relax, just enjoy. All right, so I'm going to stop with the petals at, at that point gonna go back to my my big dauber just stick it back into some of the pink and I'm gonna just come back over it and kind of fix up the centers then I'm going to take the smaller one going in to the bumblebee yellow getting it nice and coated and I'm going to just tap in a center. Tap in a center. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. 
I'm not even trying to shoot for that. It will pull up some of the pink underneath. If you don't want it to do that, then either hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer, give it some dry time, whatever you need to do. Then I'm going to come into the lime green, stick my fine liner in there, go into the fresh foliage, and then just pull it out. Come through here. I'm going to do a single stem. And just connect my flowers to the single stem. I can make the stem thicker. You can actually do the ch use the chisel edge of your of a flat brush if you want to make the stem. But that's up to you. And then I am just going to come through here, pull out just some little pieces, little pieces to put some uh, leaves on. And I can pull it this way as well. And if you want, you can do some coming down the stem, but I'm not going to put little, little pieces to come out from there. All right taking my round brush, the number 16, and just putting the green on here. And then I'm going to press down and pull, raise up as I go. Press down, raise up as I go. Same thing. Just keep, keep doing it. And then I can come here, just add a few. And it's just very simple. I can even add one in here. Of course, I'm going to pull up some of the orange, but that's fine. If it bothers you, then you know what to do. Just hit it with a heat gun or a hair dryer or give it some dry time. And then it won't do that. But since I'm keeping it simple, just doing it quickly here. Not a big deal. And then you can come down here, do some down this one. Less pressure, smaller leaves. That's all you have to do. If you want to come back through with your liner brush, add some more paint and just come back through and add you know, some stems here and there to attach. That's up to you. I did it actually on my sample. And I'm just quickly coming through and doing this. You don't have to, as I mentioned. Again, just keeping it simple and easy. Very colorful, kind of helps brighten up my day when I have colorful designs that I'm creating. And there you have it. Very pretty. Just simple, simple, simple strokes. Use any brushes that you have. Don't go through the expense of buying any specialty brushes, even though the Flora brushes, a specialty brush, you can do, do that really with a round brush or a flat brush, you know, whatever you have on hand. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share this video with your family and friends, just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video and it'll give you the options where you can share it and you're good to go. All right, till the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.